Well, good morning, everyone. I am still trying to wake up. <laughs> I've been burning the midnight oil the last few days. And last night, it was just like, oh, I'm so tired. And I went to bed and did not want to wake up this morning. But here we are. <laughs> so we are back out in the dining room. So I'll apologize in advance. We're going to hear some kitty cat noises, uh, possibly a kitty earthquake, and we're just going to have to go from there. It almost sounds a little echoey in here today for some reason. I'm not sure why. Anyhow, um, so as you know, we did that last minute market last weekend. Um, yeah, I had like a week to get ready for it, and it went pretty well. <laughs> they are tearing through the house. Um, yeah, so it went really well. Um, sold a lot of small stuff. So that is what I've been concentrating on this week. But I found out the hard way at that market that you cannot record a video and have sound if you have your square plugged into your phone, if your phone is what you use to do your recording. So I had a bunch of video clips that were unusable because it was just this high pitched squeal. And it just would have looked funny if you just saw, you know, unless you can read lips, you know, my mouth is moving and you can't hear anything coming out because I have to delete the sound. So I did not use those clips. But in one that I did use, I was trying to point out some of the things that I had added that I wasn't able to show you guys because I had to leave for the market and didn't have time to record. And off the top of my head, I can't think of them all, but I know they didn't sell. And I pulled a few of them out of the totes just so you can get the general idea. So you guys, you saw Patrick. I made a third Patrick and gave him even different eyes from the other two. So I have three Patricks now. I was surprised they didn't sell, but I'm thinking maybe a slightly older audience, like instead of the high school kids, if it was the 20 somethings, you know, the, the people that would have grown up with this obnoxious cartoon, then that would have been a sellout. But because it was, you know, the younger kids, I'm not even sure what is a popular cartoon that these kids would have grown up with these days. No clue. But yeah, so if it was 20-somethings were the customer base, like almost 30s, late 20s, then this would have been a more popular type thing. I sold one, but I had already shown you that one was the octopus, the um, pattern that I got, that I bought to do that custom order. So I had made another one and taken two with me. This one I did out of the rose color, but that bright, um, what was it? Seaside, sea foam. Almost a turquoise, but not quite a turquoise. Um, but that was the one that sold. So I had made another one of these. I would like to get another one made in that more brighter, cheery color if I have time. Because there's a couple other things that are going to be more important for me to get made. At least to me, I think is more important. I had also made another minion. And... Still not quite there with how I want to do the overall things, but I'll figure it out eventually. I had, um, I think it is cable and canvas. Don't quote me, but I think she had, uh, she had come out with a new pattern with a 
frog in a lily pad. And it the pattern released on Friday and the market was on Sunday. So I threw in four of these, these little frogs in the flower, the, like the lily pad, and they pop up. So I didn't sell any. They got a lot of conversation, but I don't know, maybe maybe my price is a little too high, but even my pop mushrooms and stuff didn't do very well. This one's yellow, and I think the other two, one is purple, I know that for sure, and I think the other one is a pink flower. I happen to like the color of this frog better than the light green, but I don't have very much of this. This is a honey bunny yarn, and at $9.10 a skein, I have to wait till it's on sale to be able to order more. So that's just a little bit too pricey for me. So I had made another bingo to go along with Bluey so that I would have the set. Still have them. They didn't sell that time. Um, what else did I add in there? I just can't think off the top of my head. I probably should have watched that part of the video before I got on here, and then I would be able to tell you better what was new that you that I didn't get to show you. But speaking of Bluey and Bingo, I, I went ahead and purchased the pattern that was recommended to me when Bluey and Bingo was first mentioned to me. And I just thought, well, maybe it'll be a little quicker. And... Uh, it's the eyes, people. It is the eyes. I just can't get the eyes right. Although, I did figure out a way I can do it where they wouldn't look so creepy. But, of course, after the fact. But this was the other pattern. And it has, you know, the bobbles for the legs and the arms. And I do not like the ears. And I do not like the eyes. And the eyes, it's all me because I crocheted them. <laughs> it's not like, you know, I purchased them or anything. It's just, I don't know. They look like zombie eyes or something because they're just these black holes. Just, I don't know. They're creepy. I don't, they're creepy. <laughs> now, the first pair that I made, they sold... And they had creepy eyes too. Let me get that other eye if Toby didn't run off with it and I'll show you what I came up with for an eye that might be a little bit more pleasing to my eyes if nobody else's eyes. Okay, so for comparison, creepy eyes. Not so creepy eyes. Now I think... Uh, the color's not really showing up that well. If I used a darker brown, look at my hand shaking. If I used a darker brown, but if this eye was on versus that other one, I don't know, what do you think? A little more friendly? I'm trying to, so I got all the strings hanging down still. A little more friendly maybe I don't know what do you think I like this much better but does it look right on a bluey or a bingo oh anyhow I spent like a whole day messing with how to do the eyes so that they wouldn't look so creepy because you know these could work on other things it doesn't have to just be bluey and bingo like i don't know would this shape eye look good on an octopus oh, i cannot get my big old hands out of the way oh my goodness so like yeah i don't know I don't know about that. <laughs> Just a thought. <laughs> so, 
yeah, those, those were the things that I was able to, now I didn't take this one to the market with me, but those were the things I was able to get made before I went to last weekend's market. So Monday, and I don't have them here to show you because I have already shipped them off. They are on their way to their new forever home. Monday, I finished up my uh, special order that I had for a sloth and one of these octopus in turquoise. So I, I finished that up Monday and I was watching this show. I don't I have no idea what the name of it was, but it was on Hulu. And then it just went into autoplay and it started off in the, the Twilight Saga. So I'm sitting there watching this um, old series or, you know, movie um, saga, whatever. And before I knew it, it was two o'clock in the morning. But <laughs> while I was watching that, after I finished the sloth and the octopus and got it packaged up. And in the meantime, I had an order on Etsy for a blueberry turtle. So I got, I, I got those packaged up and then I was, okay, I need to make smalls because I pretty much sold out. So I started, well, I gotta get situated here because I have them all piled into a basket. Um. Yeah, I've been kind of busy, but I feel like even though I've been busy, I haven't been super productive because I really, I've only made three things, but a lot of those three things. So let me, let me get situated here. I know I should have been ready. I apologize. You two cats better stop. Toby, Toby. Toby, hey, Toby, oh, he doesn't listen. Okay, so I started off with All From Jade's Mini Octopus. Now, I know I was told that the ones that have the longer legs sell better, but you know what? The other ones are so much easier and faster so that's kind of what I played with. So I was pulling out the scrap pieces and while I was watching those movies after I finished the other things, I made a few of the mini octos. So I have a purple and I believe this one is cornflower blue. And this is a tiny little bit of the turquoise that was left over, Kitty Earthquake. And whatever this green color is called. Now this one's a little bit smaller. That's the same amount of rounds. It's just this yarn wasn't quite as fluffy as this or these two. So by the time I got these four done, I'm like, all right, I need to call it a night. I'm tired. So I put these away. When I got up on Tuesday, because I had done all my button orders on Monday, I only had one open order. So I made the decision not to do that particular order that day that I would wait, which I did, I did it yesterday. And I started working on some more octos. So I busted out the, uh, Oh, Hobby Lobby's Baby Bee, Yarn Bee Baby Bee. And I did two of them in this Kitty Earthquake again. We haven't had any of those in a while. I just didn't feel like clearing off my desk. Um, you know, I don't remember the name of the colors. These are blue and white. So I have two, oh no, three like that. And then I had the other color right there. So this has the pinks and the purples and the greens. And so I did those. And then I said, oh, you know what? How cute would they look out of blossom? 
So I did two in this pink blossom. And I did two in this one. I do not remember the names. I am sorry, but this one has the orange in it. Like maybe it's tangerine or something. And then I said, all right, this, the yarn bee, baby bee, it feels soft. And like when you're holding the skein of yarn, it's like super soft. But when you work with it, there's a little bit of a drag on the hook. That's why I gave up on these and switched over to the bloom. And then I was like, I don't want to use all my bloom on just these little mini octos. So I was looking in my opened up partial skeins that I only had little bits left. And this one is made out of shell. And it's another one out of that whatever green sea something. I can't remember the name of it. Seaside, sea foam, something like that. And this is coral. And then another kitty earthquake. Light blue. So it's looking pretty gloomy outside. So the lighting in here is pretty rough and the humidity is just awful, but it's not cool enough that, or warm enough that the air would kick on. So I have the ceiling fans going. So if this lighting and stuff looks a little weird, that's why. And like I said, I just didn't feel like clearing off my desk. It's just like, uh, I got enough to do. So in total, I have 17 mini octos, four of them from late night, Monday night, and 12 of them on Tuesday. And, I, and then I was like, okay, I think 17 is enough to get me going. I do have six of the other kind left, but what I noticed was everyone that is left were Bernat Blanket, and they were not necessarily the softer colors. Like the Bernat Baby is much softer than the regular Bernat. And if you have the Bernat that has the sparkle in it, it is definitely a little rougher feeling to the touch than the others. And those were the kinds that are left. So, I don't know, those might be around for a while or maybe I'll do some mystery boxes and those will be one of the ones that end up in the mystery box. Not sure. Okay, so 17. Then, as we know, my stingrays, the mini stingrays by, the pattern is by Teresa's Crochet Shop. Those did really well at that last market. It is not the school mascot. Someone suggested that, actually a couple people suggested that. And I checked on it, the school mascot was a, a knight. So it wasn't a stingray. So, what we are thinking is, is the first girls that came up and they had bought, between the two of them, bought three, is they must be trendsetters at the school. Like they're the cool kids, so everybody else wanted to be like them. And so they bought stingrays. But it wiped me out on stingrays except for gray. So on Tuesday, we made stingrays. And let me tell you, by the time I was done with these stingrays, I was sick of stingrays. I only made 10, but I was over it. By the time I finished, I was over it. So they bought everything but the gray. So I have one in lilac. Now on these, because the parfait white has been so thin, I used my posh white. I only have one more skein of that. That's a shame because it's so much nicer to work with. Doesn't have this quite the same feel as the parfait, but for working with, it doesn't break, it doesn't shed, it holds its form. It's really nice. So I did the lilac. I did one in mustard. Um, whatever that C color is. Uh, Real blue, I think this one is called. 
Poppy, Lagoon, I like this color. Um, I think this one's the turquoise. Hibiscus. This is a pretty pink too. I like the hibiscus. Um, whatever their dark purple color's name is. Did a purple. And... This one, I believe it is called, get off of there. This one, I believe is called Very Berry, which is another color that I think is very pretty. So that was my 10 stingrays. So yesterday, that, that I all got done on Tuesday. So yesterday was Wednesday, which is usually my normal day for uploading a video. And sharing what my makes are for the week. But I didn't think that just the, the octopus and the stingray would make a very interesting video. <laughs> so after I finished my button orders yesterday, I started on mini birds. And I quickly got bored with these two. Not that I don't think that they're cute. I, I just like mixing it up. I don't know that I am the type that can just like binge make a bunch of one thing. The octopus I didn't really mind so much, but the stingrays didn't care for it. Now I could do two or three and then I need to move on to something else. So I think maybe I would have to do like a couple of octos, maybe a stingray, couple of mini birds, you know, a bee, just mix it up so that I don't get tired of what I'm making. But anyhow, I did the best I could with mixing up just by using the colors. So I had a little bit of the posh white left. So I made one little white mini bird and one yellow mini bird. I did two in the lime green. I think these are pretty. I did one blue azure, I think it's called. I did two in the red and they all have a little bit of a different look on their face. I didn't use safety eyes because I like to have some that, you know, the little kids can have and these are like perfect for their little hands. And without the safety eyes, it's a lot safer for them. We all know that. So two in the red, and then I had a tiny little bit of the turquoise left. So I got the top part of his head, did a round of white, and then that azure, I think is what it's called. So this one, he's a make-believe bird. And then I did two in pigeon colors, dark gray, the dark, hi Toby, the dark gray is seal, and this is lagoon, and then I want to say this gray color is fog. I have two light grays and I'm not sure which one is which. It doesn't have the wrapper on it anymore. But I was trying to use up skeins that were already open. So I did two of those. And then my friend Heather at Cottontail Crafts, she made these a while back. She made these little mini birds with the colors that I really like. Now I think I used the wrong color red on this, but it's the red I had and it's the red that was open. And I didn't give it the uh, crest on top but it's supposed to be like a chicken. And I thought her color combination was gorgeous, but I think she used cardinal red and not poppy. So I think my red might be just a little bright, but he's different. He will stand out in a crowd. So before I put all that away, 
and I wanted to make a couple of these, but by this time, I was just done making mini birds. But I did one chick with the frog hat, and I did not get the frog eyes. I tried, oh gosh, four different times to stitch on the eyes, and I just wasn't happy with any of them. So I just took them out. I'm like, he doesn't need eyes. If anybody that looks at that will be able to tell that that is a frog hat. So it didn't need eyes. It's not getting eyes. And again, this is the green that is from Hobie, Hobby, however it's pronounced. And I have very little of it, so I'm just like being super picky about what it gets used on. And then there are so many things that I need to make. I need some snakes because I'm down to one and it's the, the black one. I think it has a red ring around its neck. The other three I sold. I need to make some cat in a box. I took two with me to market and I sold two. So I would like to have more cat in a box. Um, I have two possums left. So if I don't get to those, it won't hurt my feelings. Uh, I should have wrote it all down because I am just all over the place, all over the place. So I told you guys that my next market was March 16th, unless something happened in the meantime. Well, something did happen in the meantime. Now I have a market to go to on Saturday and it's back at the Trinity market that I went to where it rained the entire weekend. Now Sue told me last night when we were chatting that it's a lobster truck day. So from what I heard from them talking to the other vendors there, when it's lobster truck day, there's a big crowd. But guess what? It's supposed to rain. <laughs> Like, we'll just deal with it. So that makes me feel like I am more in a crunch than I would normally be. Because, like, I would have had an extra two more weeks to work on this stuff. And I wouldn't feel pressured because I want the cat in the box. I need another mallard duck. I would like to have a, a yellow duck. Um, there's a lot of things that I would like to have that... I don't have because I have sold them, but I have plenty, plenty of other stuff that I can take, but they aren't like the things that I want to take, if that makes sense. But it's like, I am not lacking for inventory for big items, you know, but the small stuff is what I needed to concentrate on. I have two boxes made for the cat in the box. I just need to make the two cats or at least one. I have to have at least one cat in the box. Um, I just don't know what to work on first. Like I said, I started a snake last night. I am halfway done with it. I had to quit because I was just tired. My brain was shot. It was like, my hands could have kept going. And thankfully, after doing all of that little stuff, my hands are not bothering me. I have been very good and wearing my compression gloves. And yeah, so I've been lucky with that. But because I've like stayed up late Monday night and then I slept in Tuesday morning, so I stayed up late Tuesday night and I slept in Wednesday morning, I've kind of thrown off my schedule. <laughs> so oh, I made myself get up this morning so I can get back on track to a normal, at least normal for me, sleep schedule. Just a reminder, what do you think about the eye for Bluey and Bingo? Yay or nay? But with a darker brown, not quite that light of a brown. And they are about the same size as the eyes that are on it. It's the same amount of stitches. I just did color changes in it. And then I went back around the brown and just did like a regular stitch 
to give it that black outline. I don't know. I just, I like how it looks. So let me know about that. The eyes for Bluey and Bingo or other plushies. And what should I be working on, you guys? Okay, so I am going to go put everything away and I'm going to get back to work. I got to finish that snake. I would like to make at least one more snake and I need to do two cats to go in my boxes or maybe I'll just take Toby and Whiskers and stuff them in those little boxes and it'll be a whole lot quieter and a lot less hairy around here. <laughs> they, are just, they are zooming through the house chasing after each other and they're not being nice. All right, so put these away and get back to work. And I will see you over here, or maybe over here, I don't know, probably over here in this next video.